please don't ask me who is the better quarterback in real life, Jared Goff or Jordan Love. Welcome back to Bray Birds DFS, one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course, DFS. If you don't know by now, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Why my channel? Where for football, I'm going to put out four videos a week. I'm going to have a Monday night football video, a Thursday night football video, a Sunday night football video, and my Sunday main slate, Slate Buster video. And I'm going to try to get you in and out in under 10 minutes. You can go out there and submit your lineups and win that guap. So my apologies for not putting out a Monday video, but I was in Atlanta visiting family and friends. A lot of people I hadn't seen in a long time. It was the same old, same old. The Falcons lost. The Braves won. UGA won. It's like nothing changed. Anyway, let's get into this analysis of this Thursday night football lineup. DraftKings has another Millie Maker. They have a lot of other good contests. I'll just remind you that this Millie Maker, you have to beat out 176,000 people. There's some other lineups out there that won't make you a millionaire if you're, you somehow, you know, hit the nuts and win. However, you could win 500,000 to five, ten thousand dollars. So. Just throwing it out there. You don't have to play the Millie Maker. There are other contests out there, but you want to be a millionaire. So play the Millie Maker. All right. <laughs> Let's look at the snap count. So first, we're going to look at the snap counts and, you know, very simplistic. But if you're not on the field, you can't catch or run with the ball. Also allows you to kind of see things more, you know, uh, objectively than subjectively with all of your biases and the coaches and pundits. You get to see the straight, raw, very basic statistics so for the lines the running back situation is a mess gibbs has not had a touchdown david montgomery might come back we don't know what the split's going to be week two was kind of 50 50 but it's, it's really it's it's really a mess when it comes to the running back situation and jared golf seems to be very pass centric which makes sense considering his pass catchers looking at the wide receivers it's it's pretty cut and dry i'm around st brown he's the best player on the lions but josh reynolds uh, is a really good wide receiver too and is on the field almost 80% of the time. Um, golf, you know, is losing confidence in Marvin Jones. He had a lot of targets the first game, but hasn't been the same since. And then you have Raymond and Green. Tight end, no doubt, Sam Laporta, great rookie, getting becoming more and more involved. Definitely someone that you want to put in most of your lineups. And then you have Brock Wright, and he's on the field 41% of the time. Now, granted, a lot of that is blocking, but he is on the field 41% of the time. All right, let's look at the snap counts for Green Bay. And uh, their running back room is a total mess. Will Aaron Jones come back? If he comes back, is it going to be a 50-50 split? Uh, A.J. Dillon hasn't looked as good as Patrick Taylor. How does he play in there? It, it, it's, it's a mess. Wide receiver um, a situation for Green Bay is tricky because if Watson comes back, he automatically becomes the uh, wide receiver one. But as it as it stands, Dobbs is the one. And then you don't have a big difference as far as snap counts between Wicks and Reed, but they have a salary difference. Now at tight end, Luke uh, Musgrave, 86% of the time he's on the field. That is awesome. But you have Deguara, who's been on the field around, depending on the game, between 20 and 40% of, uh, of the snaps. And I really like his price tag on DraftKings. All right, so let's make some lineups. So the first lineup we're gonna make is gonna be kind of chalky. Then I'll add a little bit of a twist. And then my third lineup I will make will assume that Jones, Watson, and Montgomery actually play. My first two lineups, I'm not going to put them in my first two lineups just because for you all who have been playing DFS so far this season, the injuries have just, and the last minute decisions, especially on Thursday night, has made this way more difficult than it has to be. So chalky lineup, I think it's really wise to put, sorry, I need to put him in the captain spot. You know, 
Amaras St. Brown in the captain spot. He's a great play. Then you, you couple him with uh, golf. That makes total sense. And then you put Laporta in there. So you have golf's two biggest playmakers makes total sense. And then in this situation, we're assuming that Watson's not playing. You put Dobbs in. And then you're going to save a little bit of guap. We're going to put DeGuara in. He hasn't been targeted much. Um, I think one game he had two targets, but he's only $200. That is a slate buster right there. And then from there, we put in, we put in, I think, Raymond, who gotten a lot of targets 5200 we can look and see this game log six three and one so i guess the median for this very short um you know sample small sample would be three so this is a pretty good lineup i mean dfs and nfl have been crazy my assumption is this is going to be a close game so my assumption is you probably want to play a three three or four two lineup you know detroit to green bay or green bay to detroit but you know what the dolphins scored 70 points this past weekend um houston beat the jags uh the ravens lost I, it's, it's been crazy so i'm thinking three three or four two but you know what it could be a five one lineup to to green bay it's, it's been that kind of crazy season so far all right so let's have a look in another lineup where we switch out Laporta and and Brown. So we put Laporta in, we'll keep Brown, and then we replace Dobbs uh, with Love. All right. And then here, here's what, something interesting. We looked at the snap count and we saw that as far as snaps, they're very similar, but Wix is about 600 less. So we put in Wix to save that salary, and then we put in Wright. As I mentioned, he's on the field 40 one percent of the time and he was targeted twice the first game um so i know a lot of a lot of times he's just blocking but when it comes to these tight ends there's so many busted plays we saw the busted play with laporta last week versus the falcons so tight ends they just sometimes break free and when you're eight hundred dollars just imagine him getting that goal line touchdown and next thing you know he's in the optimal lineup because as we know, when you're trying to beat out for a Millie Maker, like I said, it's a little different in cash games. It's a little different when you're playing with uh, fewer entries. But when you're trying to beat out 176,000 people, you got to have some nasty. You got to have some ugly. Because if you don't have some nasty and ugly in your lineup, that's the difference from winning $20 and using that to kind of fill up your tank and then winning $20,000 and then having that car get pushed into, you know, the river. Big difference. So you're going to have to have the, the rights in there, the, the Guaras, because you got to beat out 176,000 people. All right. So the final lineup today that we'll look at is... <laughs> These dang injuries. Let's just say all the, the people that are questionable play. So let's say you put in Watson. Watson comes back and, and he's the wide receiver we all remember. And then you couple him with Love. And then Aaron Jones comes back and takes back over. And then Montgomery, he's the player that we used, uh, we used to know. And then even though when it comes to both of these teams, they have been touchdown or bust. We, we're going to say that Detroit actually kicks a couple of field goals. That leaves us with 5,500. And then we put Raymond back in there for this 3-3 three, three split. So this lineup is very contrarian, borderline crazy, because you are fading St. Brown. You're fading Laporta. Uh, you're fading Golf. You have all these people that are questionable. But as we've seen, Anything can happen. We've seen people get injured in the first quarter, second quarter. So there's no one that's unfadeable when once again, you're playing in a GPP with 176,000 people. So that's all I have for you today. Go out there and win that guap and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, you made it to the end of my video now. What you need to do is like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll talk to you next time.